You know what? While researching for this video, I realized one thing that being a product manager is very hard. Not only do you have to be on top of the market trends, you also need to know what your users want and then you also have to get things delivered on time. And you know what? The funny thing is that that's not the hardest part. The hardest part really is to be on top of all the technical tools that are out there. Jira, Trello, Asana, how the hell am I supposed to know which one to pick? And then the list doesn't even end there. Then if you want to do user testing, you've got Google Forms, SurveyMonkey and so on. And don't even get me started on the analytics tools. There's Google Analytics, Mixpanel, Tableau and... Ah! You know what? I genuinely think that picking a favorite child is easier. So here's the big idea of this video. Being a product manager, are you tech savvy or are you tech stupid? <laughs> well, I just don't know the answer to that. But I do know that as a product manager, I am a hustler. And hence guys, we will figure it out. So imagine you're a new PM and you've recently joined the Uber team and you look at the right booking experience there. Now as a new PM, I think the first thing anyone should look at is the data. Over here, you might experience two tools, uh, Mixpanel and Google Analytics. Mixpanel has amazing data visualization tools. Like as someone who's personally used it, I feel the capabilities are like mind blowing. However, Google Analytics is actually not that bad as well. They give you kick-ass dashboarding skills or not skills, but tools that you can use and show to everyone that you have kick-ass skills and appear smarter than you are. Anyway, so you've done your data analysis and you have a few very solid hypotheses. Now, what will you do? You will test them because it's very possible that you as a noob have brought out really false hypotheses and if you run with them and get something built and that turns out to be an incorrect build, your engineers, your engineers may kill you. Kill you. That's a, fact. That's a fact. So, testing your uh, hypothesis is very critical. Now, how do we do that? We do that by surveys. We ask our users if what we feel is correct or not for them to say a yes or a no. And so that we get some quantifiable results. Now, to do that, you may actually see two tools which are prevalently used in the market. The first one is plain vanilla Google Forms, which basically gets the job done. The other is SurveyMonkey, which has far more capabilities over Google Form. Uh, you can make tree-like structures of forms and basically it's amazing. So depending on how much money, how much resources you have and how much time really you have at hand, you could use any one of the products. One secret guys, I always use Google Forms. So now that we have done our investigation, it's time for some wireframing. Okay, it's obvious that's my favorite part. Well, over here, I swear by two products. One, the diagram.net by Google again, and second, Whimsical. These two tools make flowcharting and wireframing so much fun, and these two tools are genuinely very easy to use. This is one wireframe that I made in just five minutes, and I'm not kidding. Cool, no? Now that you've done all that wireframing, time to get things done. Well, if it's not obvious, I'm not a big part of this process. It's, yeah, not my strong suit. There, I said it. <laughs> Getting things done on time, ensuring there is no blockage, there is no friction is an art in itself. And two things that I have found really helpful in my journey have been Jira and Trello. I think these are the big boys in the world of tech. Jira makes it super easy to manage sprints and cycles of developments. And I think even a noob like me, somebody who hates project management is also able to do a decent job just because we have Jira. So full points to Jira over there. I've used Trello as well. It is a decent tool, but I've never really used it for project managing, but I have used it for my own checklists, yes. And of course, these are some of the tools that you will use directly to, you know, do your own creations. But there'll be a few more tools that you will use to at least, you know, suggest or view someone else's work. For example, Figma or GitHub and so on. Curious? Well, there's always a video too. See you there for this. So guys, there you have it, my longish list of all the tools that a product manager has to learn to become a decent product manager. So remember, like I said, it's a hard job, but we do it well, we do it with pride and we intend to please. So guys, that's it on this video. I hope you liked the content. If you did, subscribe. I will not ask for it. I will demand it because I'm a product manager. I demand outcomes. Okay, jokes apart, please subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Please like the video as well, which will tell me that you genuinely like the content. And please comment on the section below if you have any comments or suggestions for me, and I would love to engage with you. So I'll see you next time. Ta-da!